Chapter 135, Wang Daniu and Ning Yujing, Lin Shi Huang's Decision Han Yi, victorious, Thevis of the presiding elder resounded, signaling the end of the battle. Han Yi activated his magic power, vibrating the broken sword embedded a few inches in front of him. With a clang, the top-grade magical artifact, the broken sword, fell to the ground. Everyone's gaze slightly shrank, they had not expected that Han Ye's physical body had been cultivated to such an extent, that even high-grade magical artifacts could not harm him in the slightest. Seeing Han Ye's victory, the disciples of Pure Yang Peak were all extremely excited, and they shouted loudly, Senior Brother Han! Senior Brother Han! Senior Brother Han! In distant audience seats, elders from various main peaks were also shocked by Han Ye's performance. But what intrigued them more was the technique Han Yi used at the last moment. They exchanged glances and speculated. What technique did Han Yi use? I don't know I've never seen it before, it seems like some special divine. Power. Elder Guy, do you know? Elder Guy was taken aback by this question. He did not recall teaching Han Yi this divine power. He must have learned it on his own. Learned it on high sound? The elders questioned with suspicion. One of the elders stroked his beard and laughed, I didn't expect that even the formidable Liu Chengfeng would fall. In the first half, I thought Liu Chengfeng had a pretty good chance of winning. But the situation reversed in an instant elder Yu, do you have anything to say? Seeing Yu Linglong's lack of reaction to Liu Chengfeng's defeat, the surrounding elders were very curious. Yu Linglong clenched her large robe in her bare hand and sighed softly, if one's skills are inferior, what is there to say? Although Liu Chengfeng's swordsmanship is outstanding, compared to destiny and luck, he still comes up short. Her implication was clear. Han Yi, as the designated person to face the catastrophe. The sect leader and the Grand Elder had already declared that they would do their utmost to provide Han Yi with resources and help. In other words, the person in whom everyone had high hopes could not be Liu Chengfeng, it had to be Han Yi. Only Han Yi could shoulder the reputation and resources and withstand the catastrophe. This was a necessary step. So from the beginning, Elder Yu didn't hold much hope for the outcome of the battle. If Liu Chengfeng won, it would have led to the dissatisfaction of the Grand Elder. Now, the Dragon Sparrow sect had started to rally support for Han Yi. She understood this very well. Even if Liu Chengfeng lost, she couldn't say much. On the contrary, she had to facilitate Han Ye's progress. Han Yi jumped down from the ascending immortal platform, his expression indifferent, as if he had anticipated this battle. Because he understood what the immovable Rakshasa body meant. This divine technique could withstand a full blow from a Golden Core expert. None of the 24 contemplation diagrams that the past Demon Lord had contemplated were ordinary. Each one could be used as a trump card, and Han Yi had just experienced the solid sense of security brought by the immovable Rakshasa. Liu Chengfeng's sword key was indeed formidable, but it still couldn't break the immovable Rakshasa's body. The only drawback. It was that to cast the Rakshasa Dharma body required a great deal of magic power. In just a short while, he felt like half of his magic power had evaporated. As someone in the Foundation Establishment realm, he could not maintain it for a long time, and had to use it judiciously. Next round, a bye. Han Yi looked up upon hearing this, realizing that he had no opponent in the next round. Defeating Liu Chengfeng meant that the opponents ranked below him would all miss Han Yi. Within the inner sect, it would be challenging to find a disciple stronger than Liu Chengfeng. In other words, there was no difference between his present state and being first. Next round, a bye. The last round, still a bye. With no surprises, Han Yi emerged as the champion of the inner sect after rounds of sieving. It's really magical. Two years ago, Liu Chengfeng lost to Chu Shanyu. Now, he's fallen at the hands of Han Yi. If I were him, I'm guessing Ard have a real complex. Indeed, dark horses frequently emerge during the inner sect competition. Han Ye's reputation is soaring, soon to become a rising star in our Dragon Sparrow sect. Han Yi paid no heed to the words of those around him, instead scanning the crowd for Chu Shanyu. His eyes searched for a while, yet didn't find her, leaving him slightly dejected. Many disciples from the inner sect of pure Yang Peak approached him, smiling and offering their congratulations. 
On brother, your contributions to pure Yang Peak becoming the first of the inner sect cannot be underestimated. Master is sure to be overjoyed at this good news. Whoever said that being few in number implies being weak? Han brother, you have truly bolstered pure Yang Peak, helping us reclaim much of our lost dignity. Han Yi gave a small smile, not wanting to dampen their spirits. I'm going to see how the outer sect is doing. If the inner sect could claim first place, the outer sect naturally can't possibly be lagging too far behind. An inner sect disciple chuckled, Han brother, you can rest easy. From what I've gathered, our outer sect has some formidable individuals this year. Wang Daniu and Ning Yujing, both pillars of our main peak, have been mowing down numerous disciples of Ziwei Peak. Wang Daniu, holding an invincible reputation within his realm of cultivation. At the foundation establishment stage, he's practically peerless in the outer sect, undefeated throughout. Ning Yujing may be a woman, but an array of dazzling ice element techniques leaves one weary from fending her off. Given her ice seal technique, a typical disciple stands no chance. Han Yi nodded at the news of these exploits. With his advanced stage and intimate understanding of fist intent, Wang Da Niu, carrying the Zuanming giant tortoise, surely has no contenders in the outer sect. Ning Yujing had a unique constitution. Anyone who came near her would be frozen, along with the abilities they were invoking. Basically, it was insoluble. Everyone, I have big news to announce. Suddenly, a man in a blue robe descended from the immortal cranes, his face wearing a joyful expression as if something big had occurred. This year it's our turn for pure Yang Peak's outer sect to stage the inner battle all disciples from the other main peaks have been defeated. Inner battle? Hearing this news, disciples from other main peaks begin muttering to themselves. Could it be a face-off between Wang Daniu and Ning Yujing from pure Yang Peak? One pure Yang Peak disciple, after speculating about the situation, tentatively asked. Exactly, the messenger disciple nodded firmly. Ha ha ha, no matter what, this year, of the five extra spots in the Golden Cicada Secret Realm, our pure Yang Peak has secured two. The disciple looked as though he was over the moon with joy, acting as if he himself had secured a place in the Secret Realm. Da Niu is fighting junior sister Ning. Upon hearing the news, Han Yi furrowed his eyebrows. He quickly flew on his sword in the direction of the Outer Sect competition. The area beneath the ascending immortal platform, where the Outer Sect disciples were, was brimming with people. A rarely seen battle of the main peaks was on the cards this year. Wang Da Niu still looked bright and earnest as ever, warming up his muscles and bones. Facing him was a lady in a blue dress with a ponytail, her beautiful and clean face pleasing to look at. Despite this, Wang Da Niu was unfazed, his eyes filled with resolve. He had to claim first place in this final battle. Ning Yujing maintained a faint smile, poised and elegant. She could feel a familiar vibe coming from Wang Da Niu. But she couldn't put a finger on its origin. Could it be that the demon chart was on Wang Da Niu? She couldn't help but speculate. No matter what, she didn't consider Wang Da Niu to be a threat. Being a foundation establishment stage cultivator meant nothing in front of her, she could defeat him with one hand. Among those watching, Lin Shi Huang watched Wang Da Niu on stage with a hint of admiration in his eyes. A glint flashed across his eyes before quickly fading away. Having lost several rounds, he was sure to have no chance of entering the Golden Cicada Secret Realm. If he couldn't go to the Golden Cicada Secret Realm, his inherent deficiency could never be healed. Living aimlessly in Dragon Sparrow Sect was nothing but insignificance. In other words, Dragon Sparrow Sect had provided enough resources for him to sustain his revenge. A life of such mundane cultivation no longer suited him. He should leave. The steady and mundane path was not the way to accomplish his goals. Lin Shihuang looked at Wang Da Niu for one last time. He turned to leave. No one noticed the departure of a small outer sect disciple. As the attention of all was focused on the duel happening on the ascending immortal platform.